This Learn Electrics video has been made after several householders posted questions about changing fuses and how to determine the correct fuse size for various appliances. It will also help new starters in the trade to understand the relationship between power and amps without going too deeply into the calculations. The questions often ask, how can I get amps from watts? How can I choose a fuse size if fuses and circuit breakers come in amps, but all my appliances are in watts? First of all, let's decide just what a watt is, and then we can move on and determine the amps. These are the main units of electricity that we will look at in this video. If we know the watts and the volts, we can find the amps and choose the correct fuse. Volts are the driving force in a circuit. Without a voltage, there is no current flow, and more voltage means more current. We use the letter V for voltage. The flow of current, electrons, around a circuit is measured in amps, and we use the letters I and A for amps. If we multiply volts and amps together, we will have watts. The letter W is for watts, and often written as KW for kilowatts, thousands of watts. Watts are an indication of the power in a circuit, how much work an electrical appliance can do. We mustn't forget about the resistance in the circuit, or forget about the electrical wire that is carrying the current. In this video, we don't need to know the resistance to find the amps, but it is there and is covered in detail in other videos. There are two halves to this slide. On the left are circuit parameters that are set by others, and those things that are a result of what happens on the left-hand side are shown on the right side of this slide. The voltage in an installation, the voltage in your house, is set by the power station. In the UK, this is 240 volts at the moment, and on mainland Europe, it is 220 volts. There are plans to harmonise all power station outputs at 230 volts as new generating plants are built, but this could be many years from now. And since 1995, electricians have used 230 volts for all their calculations for exams and similar, even though the actual sockets are supplying 240 volts. The resistance of an electrical item is set by the manufacturer. They will make an appliance with a certain known resistance to do the intended job, and it cannot be changed. On the right of the screen, the amps are a result of the values of voltage and resistance. If voltage changes, or the circuit resistance is changed, the amps will change. But we cannot change the amps and make a difference to the voltage or resistance. It's only one way. And the value of watts, the power, will also be the result of the voltage and the amps. Just to confirm this, something else has to happen first before the watts or amps will change. What is the difference between watts and amps as far as the user is concerned? Watts tell us how much power an appliance has to do its job. A 1 kilowatt room heater will not heat a room as quickly as a 2 kilowatt model. And that 800 watt camping kettle will take a lot longer to boil the water than your 3000 watt kitchen kettle. Watts are the product of the voltage and the amps being multiplied together. But we need to know the amps to determine the correct fuse size for safety. We buy fuses in amps, not in watts. If we take the voltage away from the watts by dividing watts by voltage, we are left with the amps. So, if we know the watts by looking at the rating plate on the appliance, how many amps is that? What is the calculation that we should use? Let's make some calculations then and find the answers to the questions. We can start with watts and determine the amps and the fuse size for some everyday items. Let's say that we have a domestic 2 kilowatt heater and we want to know what current is flowing in normal use and what size plug top fuse is recommended. Power or watts is the voltage multiplied by the current or amps. We can transpose or change this into a second formula, which is the one that we need. The current I is equal to the power P 
divided by the voltage V. Or, put another way, amps equals watts divided by volts. Follow this calculation through. Pause the video if needed. First, we must convert the 2 kilowatts into watts, so multiply by 1000. 2 times 1000 is 2000 watts. And for this example, we will use 230 volts as the domestic voltage. 2000 divided by 230 is 8.7 amps. And that is the first part of the answer, 8.7 amps. As easy as that. We need a fuse that will allow 8.7 amps to flow, but not much more. Everybody asks if 240 volts makes a difference to the amps. Well, yes it does, but only a very small amount and not worth worrying about. You can see here that all we need to do is to substitute 240 volts into the formula. This gives us 8.34 amps for the last example, almost the same. In this case, we would fit a 13 amp fuse for either of these calculations. But how do we go about choosing a fuse? How can we be sure that we have the right size fuse in our plug? It's bad practice to fit a 13 amp fuse for everything. We should always try and choose a fuse close to the actual working current. A bedside lamp, for instance, only needs a 3 amp fuse. There used to be seven different fuse sizes for your everyday plug top. Now, manufacturers have stopped making certain sizes on economic grounds. The industry is standardising on three sizes. 3 amp, 5 amp and 13 amp. All we need to do is to choose the size equal to or just above the current demand of the appliance. Most IT equipment should come with a 5 amp fuse as standard and this is often printed onto the computer plug and lead. So based on this, with 8.7 amps in the last example, we should choose a 13 amp plug top fuse. For a given appliance, if the voltage increases, the current will increase. Reduce the voltage and the current and watts will decrease. We, as a user, have no control over this. Take this 3 kilowatt kettle as an example. It is only 3 kilowatts at 240 volts and uses 12.5 amps. The rating plate tells us that it will also function at 220 volts in mainland Europe, but will only consume 11.5 amps, and the wattage will only be 2,520 watts. It will take a little longer to boil the water. And you can see in the table the data for 230 volts as well. This is because the kettle element is a fixed resistance, and we are changing the voltage on the kettle. Change the voltage, change the amps and change the watts. This table shows the fuse selections for different power or kilowatt ratings and the current flowing. The current at 230 volts will be fractionally smaller but the fuse selection will be the same. Some important notes to consider for voltages. Always connect appliances to the correct voltage source. Some appliances will not work if the voltage is below that expected. And connecting to a higher voltage can damage the equipment and or start fires. Always remember that electricity is dangerous and it hurts. Always make sure the appliance is safely isolated and unplugged before changing fuses. Equipment connected to UK domestic outlets should be rated at 220 volts to 240 volts. 12 volt and 120 volt appliances must be connected via the correct transformer. And some notes for current or amps. The correct size fuse must be used for safety. The correct size fuse is one that is equal to or the next size up from the appliance rating. Using a smaller rated fuse may cause nuisance tripping. It just won't work. An appliance with a 6 amp rating should have a 13 amp fuse not 3 amps. Changing the fuse size for a smaller one will not cause the appliances to use less electricity. A 13 amp kettle with a 3 amp fuse will still need 13 amps. It will just blow the 3 amp fuse as soon as it is switched on. And lastly, two more examples of choosing fuse sizes just to help you understand. 
We have a 240 volt kettle rated at 2.7 kilowatts. What is the current flowing in normal use and what size plug top fuse is recommended? Pause the video and try to work this out for yourself. I equals P over V or amps equals watts divided by voltage. Convert the 2.7 kilowatts to watts by multiplying by 1000. So 2.7 times 1000 is 2700 watts. Divide this by 240 volts and we have 11.25 amps. We don't have 11.25 amp fuses, so choose the next size up, a 13 amp fuse. In this example, we have a bedside lamp fitted with a 60 watt lamp. We know the voltage is 240 volts and we need to choose the best fuse for the plug. We are using 240 volts for the voltage as this is what we will have at the socket outlet. Pause the video and follow the calculation. 60 watts divided by 240 volts is 0 0.25 amps. A 13 amp fuse will be far too big for this tiny current. It is not fused for safety. We should fit a 3 amp fuse into the plug. And choosing fuses doesn't get any harder than that. Thank you for watching. It really is appreciated. And we hope that you found this video useful. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos. And remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you will find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget, you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel, so don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again very soon.